Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. You're watching Turner Classic Movies, where tonight's Saturday night double feature belongs to writer, director, and producer Cameron Crowe, who turns 66 on Thursday. We'll have two of his best films, one he wrote and directed, the other from the start of his film career that he wrote and Amy Heckerling directed. We'll have that movie, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, in a couple hours. But first from DreamWorks in 2000, almost famous. Following his success with Jerry Maguire in 1996, Crow wrote and directed Almost Famous, earning the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay. The story was largely autobiographical for Crow in much the same way that last year's Best Picture nominee, The Fablemans, was for Steven Spielberg. Born in Palm Springs, California, Crow was a bit of a child prodigy. He skipped several grades, graduated from high school at 15. By then, he had already written freelance articles on rock and roll for publications like Circus and Cream. A meeting with Rolling Stone editor Ben Fong Torres led to a job as a contributing writer and associate editor with the magazine, though at the time, again, I'm going to keep telling you his age, Crow was still just 15. He got to interview legit rock legends like Dylan, Bowie, and Clapton. Crow's love for classic 70s bands landed him a dream job going on the road as an embedded rock journalist at the age of 16. His experiences touring with the Allman Brothers in 1973 formed the inspiration for Almost Famous. Patrick Fugit, making his feature film debut, plays William Miller, a precocious rock-obsessed 15-year-old who joins Rolling Stone in the early 70s and then gets the plum assignment of a accompanying an up-and-coming band called Stillwater in the movie on the road as a rock correspondent. There, he meets Stillwater's frontman, Russell Hammond, a character loosely based on Greg Allman or Glenn Fry of the Eagles, depending on your source. He's played by Billy Crudup, who replaced Brad Pitt early in the production. Not insignificantly, the young reporter also meets the band's loyal gang of groupies. They call themselves the Band-Aids, led by Kate Hudson in a show-stealing Oscar-nominated performance as Penny Lane, along with Anna Paquin, Feruza Balk, and Bijou Phillips. Here's the film from 2000, also with Frances McDormand as William's concerned mother, Zoe Deschanel as his sister, and the great-great Philip Seymour Hoffman as music critic Lester Bangs. This is Almost Famous.